howdy guys. So one of the benefits of becoming a subscriber to my channel is that by now you would have had a low level understanding of TypeScript, uh, but you may not necessarily know how to build an application with it yet. So one of the other benefits of becoming a subscriber, if you're not already uh, one of my subscribers, is to um, get into this video that I'm going to start making and the, the next set of videos that I'm going to be making where um, it's called, I'm going to be building an application of TypeScript with a focus on design patterns. I'm going to go over how to use TypeScript effectively inside of an application and how to leverage its features to write really reusable code. So let me go over what I'm going to build. All right, so I'm going to head over to my draw.io uh, tool that I use for my mockups. And what I'm going to make is a basic web application with TypeScript. This is something that will run inside the browser. My application will randomly generate two different entities. It's going to randomly generate a user and randomly generate a company. When I say randomly generated, I mean I'm going to have a user with a randomly generated name and last name and age and stuff like that. And the company will have a random name and business and some stuff like that as well. Every user in every company is going to have a location property tied to this as well. So like a longitude and, la and latitude. After I generate the user and the company, I'm going to use th that location to show them as markers on a Google map inside the browser. So this marker here, and that's kind of hard to see. I mean, there we go. This is put it over here. So this location icon or this marker um, is uh, it, rep might, it might represent the user, this one here, and this one over here might represent the company. So the entire goal of this application is to become familiar with classes and how to understand how to make use of interfaces really effectively to get some amount of code reuse on the applications that you work on. If you can understand classes and interfaces with TypeScript, it will go a long way. The way I got TypeScript code to run inside my browser very easily is by using a tool called Parcel Bundler. This is a command line tool that I use in place of TS Node. So parcel, uh, parcel Bundler is all about getting some TypeScript executed inside the browser very easily. So it has automated a lot of tooling for me. Now, whoops, sorry about that. Now, if you want to install Parser Bundler um, in your command line, all you have to do is npm install dash g for global parcel dash bundler. And I already have it installed in mine, so I'm not going to uh, be doing that right now. Um, so instead, I'm just going to uh, join back up with you in a subsequent video. See you soon.